Another new feature within DX 2022 is we made some tweaks to the auto surfacing. Um, the main one for the user that the user would notice is the ability to keep the patch network. So if I come over to auto surface and I look in this dialog, you'll see that it has keep patch network in the tree. So what that'll do is it'll allow me to auto surface this object and then it will output the patch network that I'll go ahead and run it that it utilized to create the surface for this object into the tree. Now, what does that mean? Um, it allows you the ability to get that and use it for other things. One, you can actually grab those curves and utilize them for other modeling purposes. Or two, you could do some editing to that network. So if there's something that you wanted to change about it, you could then select that and apply that network using fit uh, surface patches later, um, which it is possible to change it to the point where it will not fit um, completely to the mesh again, um, but we're giving you the ability to go down the rabbit hole with that and allow you to fit it. So I'll just wait a second for this to finish and then I'll show you what the network looks like. So now what you see on the screen, you see the mesh. If I turn that off, there's the auto surface that was created. Now if I turn off the surfaces, you'll notice that we do have a 3D sketch here. So let's turn on the mesh again. And that means I can come in and edit the auto surface. So if I just double click that, come in, and you'll notice that if I come in, I can drag things around and manipulate that network, right? So I could go as far as starting to remove and manipulate the mesh itself. And then I could then use this to reapply to the surface. Another side benefit of outputting the 3D sketch separately is you could then come in and create a new sketch and you could do convert entities and you can utilize these things that were already created to create some other uh, surfaces so um, if i wanted to just go ahead and create like this I could say I want to convert entities and then turn that off. And then I have those. So if I wanted to use those curves for something else, like maybe if I wanted to come over to my legacy boundary fit surface and then maybe do a boundary fit surface to that region instead, I can do so. So you can use that curve network that was generated for the auto surface and extract those curves and then use those for another type of modeling operation. Uh, or maybe you wanted to create a uh, mesh fit or a boundary fit or something uh, like that. You could, you could do so using those curves. That's why we output them for you now. So there is the surface that we fit. So if I turn off the surface there, turn off the mesh, you can see we fit a surface to that area.